Hi everybody, how are you guys? I am super excited to bring you guys this video. I know that's probably not how y'all feeling at the current moment. I get it, I was there, okay? But this video, I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, and simple because I know when I was looking for information on how to get my Instagram back active, all of that other stuff was kind of just in the way. I just wanna get straight to it and, and help you guys out, okay? So, long story short i'm gonna give you a background on what happened to my account so if it resonates with you with you this is probably what you need to do to get your account back okay so maybe two weeks ago on a sunday night i was on instagram and then i think i got on the phone with my sister and um i got off the phone i went back on my instagram i started checking like a reel that i was like looking to post then I clicked out of it really quickly to answer a call and then my account got shut down. Literally, I went back to it. I went back to the app. I was logged out. I'm like, okay. So then what I did was I tried to log back in and it said no account found. I was like, hold on. How is, I was just on it. Like that makes no sense. So pretty much I um, reached out to Instagram. I did a, a I did a report, I did a form that they asked me to fill out just to make sure I wasn't being hacked or whatever the case may be. So now I proceeded to do the form. It told me, it's, it emailed me a code and then it said, write it on a plain sheet of paper, let it be very clear that we can see it. I said, okay, I wrote the code, wrote my username, wrote my full name. I'm pretty sure you guys got that that message, right? Because Sorry to burst your bubble, but that is a robot. That is literally an automated message that you're going to get if you fall into this predicament, right? So now here I am feeling like I'm taking a mug shot. I sent it over and then um, no response for the rest of the night. I went to bed a little bit uneasy because I'm like, wow, like how they just do that? Like how, I can't go out like that. So I ended up waking up next day. I got an email from them and they were like, oh, seems as though you violated the terms of use or um, you violated the community guidelines, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, that's impossible. Like I'm my page. If you follow me, my page is literally all about positivity, love and things of that nature. So I'm like, that cannot be true. So I started looking on Google, started looking on YouTube, trying to figure out, OK, how do I get my account back? Long story short, if you're filling out those forms, just stop. Just stop. You're wasting your time. I'm sorry because you might think it's working, but really and truly imagine how many people are on Instagram every day. Imagine how many people's accounts are just getting deactivated. I watched this YouTuber. I watched a couple YouTubers and they were saying that we need to get into Facebook and create a Facebook ad. And I'm like, okay, no. No. So I'm not going to lie to you. Literally, I waited seven whole days and I'm like, I'm just not messing with it. Like, maybe I don't need to be on Instagram right now. Whatever the case may be. Maybe I need to just focus on myself. But then after a while, you're like, okay, I want my account back. Like, at least let me have the reason. Let me have the say on why I don't want to be on it or if I want to deactivate it. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to get this account back. Whether I got to do it the hard way. The long way, the short way, whatever, I'm going to do it. So what I now did was luckily when I first created my Instagram account in 2011, I had connected my Facebook account with that Instagram account. So in the past, I've created Facebook ads or I've created Instagram ads, maybe a picture that I felt like was fire or whatever like that. I created a, a little ad on it or whatever like that so it could get more attention. I didn't realize that that posted on my Facebook account that I connected to it. So what I did was now, like the YouTubers instructed me to do, I went on Facebook. I created a Facebook ad, okay? When you create a Facebook ad, this is how you're going to get in touch with a representative, okay? Those forms are literally not going to get you anywhere. So what you have to do is create a Facebook ad Go to facebook.com, log into your Facebook account if you remember it. Hopefully you do. Then go to ad manager and then go to create an ad. You want to create an ad. The reason why, and it makes sense because when I, when I was listening to them talk, I'm like, why would I create an ad? Like what? 
such a waste of time, a waste of money. But when you spend your money with Facebook or with Instagram, same company, because Facebook bought Instagram, you are letting them know I am a priority. So what I now did was I went to my Facebook um, account that is associated with the Instagram account that was deactivated. I went to ad manager. I hit create ad. Now I created this ad on a Saturday, right? Um, the YouTuber states that in 24 hours, you're going to receive a message or you're going to be able to speak to a representative, right? I'm going to give you guys some clips on how I was able to navigate through this so you can get a visual for those who are visual learners. So I created an ad, um, on a Saturday and I'm like, dad, why would I do that on a weekend? Like that didn't make any sense, but Sunday, I checked back in. I was not able to reach out or chat with anybody. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Definitely Monday. I ran the ad for three days. I think it was like a dollar a day. I ran it for three days. On Monday morning, I woke up. I'm like, mind you, I already have been without the account. That Monday, well, that Sunday, going into Monday, had already made two weeks. So I went into it like, okay, Monday, I woke up. I watched a video again that the YouTuber was saying, oh, you created that, created that. I was like, all right, boom, I'll, whatever. Now, Monday, I went to my Facebook account. Then I went to the ad, and I saw that the ad was active. It was active the same day I created it on that Saturday. But now that Monday, it had already been getting attention and things like that. So what I did was now I went to Facebook Business Help Center, Okay. So you could Google it, Facebook Business Help Center. I went there, I scrolled down, and it says contact support. What I did now, I hit contact support, and then you're gonna you're gonna see it's gonna give you options. I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see. It's gonna give you options on how you can get that support, right? So now what you're gonna do is hit other because there's going to be a list of things that you might need help with. You don't want to click that. You want to click other. Now, when you click other, it gives you the opportunity to now speak to a representative. So when you hit other, other issue, it brings you to the Facebook Messenger bubble. And you're going to get a couple of automated um, responses, but you want to click something else. Something else, Okay. You don't want to click anything else or else you're just going to be getting automated machines. When you click something else, you now open up that portal to speak to a representative, a real live person. Hey, okay, the, you're uh, not going to get that filling out the, um, the forms now, and you're definitely not going to get that <laughs> waiting for you. Instagram to email yes, you back. Is the best you're time. not. So this is the gem right here. You have to create an ad. Once you create an ad and you spend your money it will give them a comfortability to know that, okay, this is a paying customer. This is a paying person. So they are, they are obligated to help you if you have any issues. Don't hit them with the, oh, I want to just get my Instagram account back. No. Once you hit them up, right, once they get bubble opens up for you, speaks with them. You let them know, hey, I'm running an ad with Facebook and I am looking to get some help connecting my Instagram. However, my Instagram is deactivated at the moment. Is there any way you can help me activate it? Simple. In the link in my bio, I'm going to include a guide literally accessible to everyone who is looking or who's in this issue. Simple, easy, literally three steps. It took me two weeks because I decided the first week I was going to be lazy about it and just wish on a star that second we came, I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna apply this information. So I included a link in my in this description box. You can go right ahead and purchase the guide. Simple, sweet, and easy. Okay, literally all the conversations I had, the step by step is gonna be included in there. Okay, once you reach out to this Facebook person, you might get a person who is gonna be on like some. We'll get back to you. Just wait. And I didn't like that energy from the first person I dealt with. So I started up a new chat. Then um, that person actually called. 
Okay, so there's no reason, you can't see the reason why. That is actually the current situation here, maybe, and I really want to provide that exact reason. Trust me, that you can avoid having the same problem next time, and to avoid any possible mistakes that you might have encountered. I know that you're curious about this, and I really tried doing some research, but currently, for security and um, to avoid to some circumvention information. He's like, I'm, you know, I'm very apologetic that this is happening to you. Um, we're literally going to work on it as we're going to escalate it to the highest power. I'm like, you talking my language, you talking my language. Then I was like, okay, thank you so much. I am looking forward to just having my account. Ah, 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 right. So then maybe three hours later, we got off the phone. Three hours later, I get a call. Be aware when you do this. You may receive phone calls. It may come from Cali. It may come from Netherlands. The second call I got came from Netherlands. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is probably scam likely. Uh, like, why are y'all calling me? I picked it up because I'm like, okay, I know that I did speak with someone who said they were going to reach back out to me. And this is the recording right here. I'm going to include the recording on how that conversation went. And honestly, I couldn't be happier. Sorry. Hello? Yeah, yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you clearly. I had to take you off of speaker. Yeah, so I have a good news for you that your Instagram account is enabled now. Yay. You can, can you check it at your end? Yeah. I am in the account. Miss Olivia, um, your account is back active. Go ahead and log in for me. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> and it felt good because I'm like, oh, okay, it really worked. I paid three dollars to run an ad, and I got my account back. I'm like, this, this is fine with me. This is fine with me. Okay, so. I'm not going to make this video too long. I already see that we're at 11 minutes and I'm going to keep it short and simple. In the description box will be the guide on how I got my Instagram account back, okay? Really a couple of, you know, a couple of steps. Simple and easy. You don't have to be frustrated. You're going to get it back, okay? I know you probably didn't violate the terms of use or the community guidelines and there's just a glitch probably. Who knows? You're going to get your account back. Trust me.